today on The Real. Get ready, because we're about to make some noise. Daddy! And baby daddies, Melissa Peterman isn't staying quiet. Let's do it now. I've been waiting my whole life for this. And we get to know the real Shekana. These people don't even know me. They don't know my heart. And that's what this table is about. Yeah. The Real. This is our personality and a hairstylist to the stars, please welcome <laughs> the beautiful, the wonderful Shekinah to the table. Yeah. 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 Now, girl. girl, you ready for some girl chat? <laughs> I guess. Okay. <laughs> now, you know, it. let's get right to it, Shekinah, because you told us about your recent breakup with a boyfriend. We were talking about it yesterday. I was telling you about mine. You were telling me about yours. Yes. You know, what's going on right now? <laughs> I'm tired because I just wore dance. yourself out yeah, dancing. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. like, oh. All that shimmy and got me. Yeah, yeah, she, she got wore out too. What's going on? Like? She got wore out a little bit, right? Right. Um, it's cool, you know. The best is he's going his way and I'm going mine. And you know, I don't know. I don't want to keep lingering something on that don't make sense. That's right. So it's like don't put the negative energy out that we already on TV and somebody been came back and wanted to do something else, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Do something that's more devastating to you. How long were y'all going out, though? We've been dating for about a year. And then, like, I think um, we was dating for a year when I had surgery. He ended up getting mad because he found something that happened in 2015. What? Wow. He put me on Instagram. No way. Yeah, I had stuff seen that. He had. that. You seen it? Wait, wait, what was that? I didn't really understand didn't what was going what on was in the that? video. It was, you know, I kind of put, I put him on Instagram first because he did something that was trifling, but I never added him or said okay. his name. I just put this why you don't deal with this. Then maybe That's I saw right. your video. No, just in, it was just a picture. And then he turned around and he sent pictures into a, well, a site called Famousless. Whatever, famous yeah, Famousless. Uh -huh. He sent it into them and, you know, it was just very embarrassing. Wow. Because it's like, you know, when you're in a relationship, I'm the type of woman, I don't cheat. Yeah. yeah. Okay, like if I'm in a relationship with somebody, I'm in a relationship with them. I'm not here, there, and all over the world. It doesn't make sense. I did that when I was younger. Mm -hmm. So now that I'm grown, I, I can't say this on TV, but now that I'm grown, I don't care to have those type of ways. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. a grown woman, and yes. I'm trying to be something different in my life. So yes. sleeping with this one and that one and that one, that's just not what I'm planning on doing. And right. he had an issue with that. He always thought that I was cheating. I'm on the phone with somebody. I'm on Instagram oh, looking God. at a dude. It just was a lie. And it's a lot of wear and tear on you, especially when you know you're not doing these yes. things. Right. And you've exactly. got to work so hard yeah. to prove exactly. it. Yeah. 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 You're constantly it's spending your energy trying to tell this person that you're not. Yes, and then like me coming on the reel, it was like a, this is a blessing for me, you mm -hmm. know? And it's like, anybody who around you can knock your blessing, they're not for you. And it's like, yes. I'm out here, I had my hairstylist with me, yeah. I paid for all these people to come. They kind of turned on me. They ain't turn on you, girl. Yes, they turn on me, but it's okay because I don't feel good and I'm trying to make it. Right. And it's like you have so many Oscars always coming at you. It's okay. No, you know, that's you, real. She's healing. See, people got realized, you know, she just had major oh, I surgery. Need tissue. She's I'm sorry. It's okay. No, it's no, no, okay. But it's real. Like, people don't realize that. You know, sometimes you can feel in your journey, like, God, I'm just trying to make it. I'm just, I'm just two trying steps to make forward it and for somebody time. to even make you feel mm -hmm. like, you know, like they've left you or yes, deserted it's you. it's just like so unfair. I keep begging her to do my hair. I'm like, she's been my hairstylist for years. Wow. And Mayweather had a party and I ended up getting sick and not going to the party and she yeah. ended up getting aggravated with me because I didn't go. And it's like, we came here to work though. Right. We didn't come here. Yeah. You know, Mayweather's my friend, and I, I, I deal with Mayweather, but we came to work. We didn't come to go to parties. We came to work for the real. Yeah. Right. So she's like, you made me spend all this money to go to a party. I'm like, girl, I'm sick. Yeah. I did just have surgery. And she's, she got upset but because of the party. And then it was like right after. Is that right a real the, friend, though? I think she's I not, she, first of all, that's the thing. She's not a friend. She works for me. It's crazy. Okay. And then I found out, you know, to come to say she's upset, but it, 
We came from our school together. You know, she made a comment to somebody and said, I can't believe that I work for Shekinah and I'm not on the platform myself. And when I found that, she said it, that it hurt in my heart. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. Because you're thinking you're bringing that person with you. And, and I mean, that if you get that, the platform, I'll bring you with me. I can remember doing hell, y'all, for nothing today. When I first met Tiny, people always say whatever they say, but I can remember wanting it so bad, it didn't ever matter what was on the budget, I took it. Because I seen a bigger picture on myself and I knew mm -hmm. be humble, it's gonna work itself That's out. That's right. But everybody don't know that. You know, it's moments like this that you see what people are really made of. Yes. That you see what people have gone through in their life, what makes them the way they are. But I would have thought yesterday that you were like the toughest, strongest, you know? And then you see you are tough and you absolutely are strong and tears and don't make a difference. And she's also about her business, But you're about too. your business. And then yeah. another and thing I had to heart. catch you to aggravate me is people. When I went on y'all's site last night just to see like what people had to say, they like, oh. hey, you got the ghettoest girl in the world on y'all's show, what are you doing? And I'm like, these people don't even know me. They don't know my heart. They don't know where I come from. They don't know anything about me. And that's why we wanted you to talk today yes. because I see the stuff too. I stay off. The site, cause yeah. see, I be done un cut somebody, okay? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause they, you know, they don't understand that this is a person, yeah. And they just want to talk, it's a human. and 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 she's human, and she's about her business. No. This woman has been styling hair. She's a businesswoman. She's been on television. She's a personality, and, I, and so I, we want to give you a chance to speak yes, your piece. You. I well, appreciate you it. have a perspective that deserves to be heard. Yes, there are so many girls out you that think like you, that can look at you and say, "Oh, she's like me," and that's. That's what this table is about. Yeah, right. Like, I hope people get it. Like, it's not about, okay, well, who are you? What do you know? It's, we, I love it when Lonnie says it. What is it that you always say? You say, Everybody it's almost has like a Mean Girls. At this table. It's like Mean Girls where I say, you can't sit with us. That's not what this show is. No. This show is, you can sit with us. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It don't matter. It's no judgment. Like, but I went through it, though. I mean, I'm thankful to be here, like I said, and you know, it's all good. Last night I got on my live and I was crying with my fans, and I, I don't really do that type of stuff, but right. I was just oh, crying, like, y'all got to get yourself together because. All the stress I'm going through on top of that, and which I feel like I really don't care about what you feel, but it's just a hurting situation. Yeah. Because anybody who knows me is to love me, and I have a heart of gold. Yes. There's so many people that I've been on and always been there. Like, my friends would call me and say, hey, my bill's due, and I don't have it. Oh, I'm the person that's gonna give it to them. I had a friend, her kids need to go to school, y'all. She didn't have a car. I got tired of asking people for rides. I took her to the dealership, put $2,000 down on her car. I did two people the same day, the same way. And I didn't need no exposure for yeah. it. You see? Yes. And yeah. it, it just be crazy. Like, Tiny is my friend, true that, but don't think Tiny was hanging around a broke bomb girl. Like, I always been about my business. She wouldn't be hanging, she wouldn't be able to say she's my best friend if I was a bum and I didn't have ideas and I didn't know anything. Right. That's what I <laughs> This is my question to you. To this is my it. question. What do you want people to know about Shekana? That I do talk fast, but I am intelligent. Um, I dropped out of school, but I wanted to be something, so I went and got a GED. I went to cosmetology school. I didn't come from a background of nothing. I have a grandmother. She is beautiful. She lives with me, and I take care of her, and I'm thankful that God let me be with her. But my grandmother always owned a daycare center. So you know if somebody owned a daycare center, they got good money. She had a daycare center keeping like 100 kids. Like, that's was my background. I always had a car. I always had my own room. I always had a cell phone when I was young. I don't know what it is to struggle, but I did want to go to the hood. And maybe that was my problem. I went to the hood. I wanted to see what was open. We stayed in the neighborhood, but we were not project. I went to the projects, though, to meet and greet. My grandma kept a lot of project kids. So I know both sides, but I just hate how people always, you know, putting me, on a, putting me down, and they don't know me. Believe me. Oh, and I want speech <laughs> therapy. Anybody out there that's seeing this show today? <laughs> You say you want speech therapy. I want speech. I need help. <laughs> I absolutely love I love your oh accent so much. When you first came out day one, I was like, dang, there's a swag to the way you speak. Yeah, and, and I'm country. A... I'm from the South. Yes, right, yes. right. So sometimes, and I have braces. You know, I yeah. have a lot of times. But what I, I tell you, I said, you know what? Sometimes you have to look at yourself on TV. Look at yeah. yourself, and then you can see, you, you know, I wasn't mistake, that mad I myself. That. You, and I told you that. I but said, everybody you else. They tell me up, y'all. You want to know why? Oh, because well. a lot of them want to be on TV just like you. Yes. Yes. That's oh, what yes. it is. Okay. And they don't know what it is. They think if somebody has that much time 
If somebody has that much time, and I'm talking to anybody out there who knows exactly who I'm talking Gina. about, if you have that much time to actually sit there and judge a person based on what you see they edit on TV, what Come you on. see they yes. feature, what they're doing either for ratings or what they're doing for their money, and taking your reputation or that one part of your life and dragging you worse than a Remy diss track in order to make their fun, that's not real life. It's not. This table l lets you know that you are, we are reflecting real human beings with real stories and journeys right. that you've been through right. to get your voice where you are today. Right. And let me tell you, girl, when God opens doors for people, nobody can close them. You are here for a reason. For a reason. And favor ain't fair. And God has favored you, and you are where you are at because of what your hard work has done in God's plan for your life. And no one can get in the yes. way of that. Tamara. And don't ever let nobody take that from you. No matter how you talk, where you talk, that's God. Thank Tamara you. is a good person. And whenever you need some help or some guidance, <laughs> yeah. some encouragement, she no, is the is best. That is true, because yeah. the reality is, is that every single one of us ladies, by being on this show, we are vulnerable every day and we put ourselves out there. Right. But the thing that we have learned, I think it's been about three years, this is our yeah. third season, is that we can't let others define who we yes. are. And my grandmother said, it's true, my grandmother said, the moment people start talking about you, it means you made it. That's right. <laughs> You're doing right. You're doing something. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. So we gonna stop all this crying. Yes. Yes. And we're gonna I didn't even to cry. We gonna stop no, this. Okay. I promise you, I didn't want to Girl, cry. I, no, it's fine. I Stop do us too. Crying. But you go. You about to make me cry when <laughs> I cry. <laughs> the show over. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we gonna stop it uh, now. Well, but what about my makeup, y'all? You it's look great. Okay. Don't worry. We'll get it it's up. Okay. Let's finish this up. We laughed we'll together. Go. We cried together. We look bomb together. That's yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is it really true, you guys, that men get sicker than women? By a round of applause, how many of you guys think men get sicker than women? <laughs> well, a recent Time Magazine article tried to find out the answer in this battle of the sexes. Well, there isn't scientific evidence to prove that men get sicker. However, a recent study with adult male mice showed that they had more signs of illness than the female mice. So researchers may not have the answers, but ladies, when it comes to getting sick, do you think that men act sicker than women? Yeah. They exaggerate Absolutely. more. Absolutely. What is that about? You said they exaggerate more? Yeah, men oh, yeah. exaggerate. You have to become a nurse with them. It's like, yes. and then Maybe they won't go to the doctor. That's that it. It's like, you true. know you sick, go to the doctor. Who do that? You just take care of me. Yes. What? It's, yes. I'm not a nurse, okay? <laughs> just in terms of being sick, Men tend to exaggerate a lot more. Okay, well, I have to be honest. When Adam and I were dating, he did act like that. I mean, at one point, he just had a cold and he acted like he had the flu. I remember walking in uh, into his apartment and he literally, you guys, was like laying on the floor, like, I can't move. I'm like, seriously? But now that we're married and we have children, it's actually Adam that usually just powers through it. When I'm sick, he's like, Tamara, why don't you take a yeah. nap? Why don't you get better? Oh. Yeah, so, so it's it actually swamped you guys. You he, act like the baby sometimes. I act like the baby because I know he's gonna take care of me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love that. True. It's I true. love that. But it showed me that guys, you do know how to power through it. You just have to do it. That's right. A 99-year-old woman from the Netherlands recently made headlines when she checked a surprising item off her bucket list. Before she died, one of her wishes was to get arrested and be put in the slammer. Yes, y'all, this is true. Her wish was the police department's command after her niece made a phone call to the local authorities. The woman, whose name is Annie, was thrilled to finally experience life behind bars, you guys. What? Even if it was just for a few minutes. <laughs> so ladies, bucket lists are important. I find them something you should add to every single day of your yes. life if you can. What are some of the items on your bucket list? We should start with you, Egg. Go, okay, go, go. I've got a lot of things I okay, want to okay. do. I've never been on a hot air balloon ride. I want to have breakfast and watch the sunrise but with you're champagne. But you heights. I know, that's why I said champagne. I'm gonna be tipsy. I'm Better gonna be like, <laughs> okay, you know, okay. Fearless, you know? Okay. My courage juice. Okay. Okay, so I wanna do that and I wanna get, this is really rich. And then I wanna get baptized in Israel. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's, oh, awesome. that's my bucket list. I wanna go to Israel and get baptized. What do you wanna do? I wanna visit seven continents. Ooh. Nice. All seven. Yes. And I've been to three already, so I have four more to go. And I wanna have sex with a really famous, famous actor. There you go. Oh, that's good. There you go. You're very ambitious. That was strong. Sure. <laughs> I wanna go to Africa, and then I wanna get, I wanna take a bath in the Red Sea. Oh, oh. We can Red take a trip to Israel. 
I love that. I also want to dance with Denzel Washington. Oh, oh that's nice. nice. <laughs> okay, I want to someday take all of you women to Vietnam. That's Ooh, a nice. huge goal of mine. Yeah, I'm down. Okay, I also want to have drinks with Michelle Obama. Yes, oh. Everybody, that's on everyone's bucket list. I like that one. And I would love <laughs> one day to visit a lot of high schools in America and help women find their purpose. Ooh, I love that awesome. moment in high school when you don't know what you want to do, and or, I don't love it, but it was hard. And so I want to visit high schools out there and be able to talk to women to find what God gave you. Good. I love that. Damn, damn. Um, I want to travel the world like you, Lonnie, but I want to try all the different types of foods there yes. because Ooh. I'm a foodie. Yes. yes. And then you guys, this is crazy, but I've always wanted to be an astronaut, so I would want to go to space. Yes. You I, can do it. Yeah, like in maybe 60-something years, they say they might have the first spaceship that takes civilians. And yes. I would love to yes. be on that oh, ship. Oh, wow. Cool. I would. Awesome. This is so cool. Our next guest starred alongside Reba McIntyre for six seasons on the hit show Reba. Now she's starring with my brother, Taj, on the <laughs> People's Choice Award winning show, Baby Daddy. Please welcome Melissa Peterman. Yes! and we're so excited to have you. Yes. No. Tamara was singing your praises earlier. And I love how you just come out here dancing. You're so cool. So does, you have an 11-year-old son. I do. Does he think that you're as cool as I think you are and you're an actress? Not one bit does he think no. I'm that cool. Yeah. No, uh-uh. You know, children, they're rarely impressed by their parents. I tell them someday, you're going to appreciate how funny I am. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Um, but no, he, he's not at all, he's, you know, he's, he'd rather just be... Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, there's so much. Oh, oh, okay. Well, let's talk about who does impress him. Your brother impresses him. I know. Him. Children he, love my brother. Does he come to him. the set of Baby Daddy? Well, he's come to the set a couple times, but the only time I could really get him to really want to come was if he could meet Teddy from Full House. Full House. So if you, in that picture, you can see him doing that. He's trying to, like, I'm playing it super cool, Mom. Got but it. Uh, sitting next to Taj, he was like, I go, do you want a picture with Taj? He says, yes, I would really like a picture with Taj. <laughs> and he's sitting next to him and just doing the thumbs up. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So cute. So cute. But everyone loves your brother. I love your brother. I, know I love him, too. Oh, awesome. pretty awesome. Now, Melissa, I really love him. You yes. really love yes. him? Yes. <laughs> so does Jeannie. Uh, kind of crushing. Yeah. I know. Yeah. The first yeah. time I met him, I thought I was supposed to be working and playing with you my entire life. Where have you oh. been? Oh, oh, I yeah. love that. He's that easy. Yeah. We well, do. And with that, congratulations on 100 episodes of <laughs> Baby Dad. I know. So, so cool. And you guys just had your rap party, too. We did. So I want to know for you, mm -hmm. are you the turn-up mom like Tam is after hours, or are you at home by 9 p.m. type mom? Um, let's just say I commit to both of those fully when I'm doing <laughs> them. <laughs> if I am out and I'm going to party, I'm going to commit fully to the party. And if I'm home being a mom, I will commit fully to that part. Okay. But I like to, I like wow. to turn You can be both. You can be both. Both a little bit. You can be both. No, yeah. You know, like our cast, we're super close. Your cast seems really super close. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys hang out? We do. We love to hang out. Um, and I think that always shows on the screen. I can see it when I watch you all that you really do like each other. And yeah. I think for our show, you can see it in the final product. Well, you know, some people. Well, you know. <laughs> Um, you know, you can't, you know, not everyone's a winner, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. But, uh, no, we really do. We, we have bachelor viewing night parties. No way. We hang out. We have, like, a group text that's running all the time. You so guys well. actually got matching tattoos for celebrating your 100th episode. Yeah. Tosh, oh, wow. Tosh got his. What did you do? Tosh got his on his forearm. I think it's a little too big. Oh, you put it. There's mine right here. Wait, you put it on your. That's yeah. adorable. And so it's, it's, safety cool. it's a safety, safety pin, pin. The, the logo from our show. show. And this, I think, is some sort of bug bite I should probably have checked out. I don't know. <laughs> didn't notice that part. Uh, but yeah, we all went and got tattoos together. And it was, uh, so mom, I have a tattoo. <laughs> oh, wow. And now that's <laughs> all. And we couldn't let her leave without playing one of our favorite games. It's time to get Shout Rage. Yeah. Yeah. I love games. OK, I, I only became an actress so I could be on game shows. I like to play games. Well, it's about yeah. oh, okay. We're about to get some friendly competition started. Melissa, we heard that you love playing games. We know this is going to be amazing for you. This is what you, this is what you did this for. This is what for. I was born for. Here, it's about <laughs> to happen. Now, 
It's about to go down here at the reel. Now, this setup is a bit different today than how we normally play it. You'll see that over there are our lovely hosts all lined up. Mm -hmm. Well, you'll be going head to head in a shout rageous battle with one of them. Are you prepared? I'm ready. I'm all ready. All right, let's mm -hmm. dim the lights to find out who. Okay. All right, who's it gonna Can be? Can I get a drum roll, please? Oh. oh. Ladies, if the spotlight lands on you, step on over and take your place. Who's it gonna be? Okay. But you cannot help them. It's every man for himself on this one. This is a one on one battle. You got it? Okay. Yeah. You're ready to take this All right. Oh, there let's you go. do it, love. Take I've been waiting all my whole right. life for this. Let's go. Here's how it's going to go down We're going to play one round in the Shoutrageous app, and whichever lady scores the most points will be crowned today's winner. And they'll score a prize for the audience. <laughs> You have 30 seconds to guess as many <laughs> items as you can for your topic, which is, look at me, Alani, things you do to make a guy go by. Oh. oh. Go, Alani, you might know this real fart. well. Fart. Okay, fart. Uh, drink too much, snore, vomit in his bed, yeah. call his mama a oh. Uh, oh. Talk about his baby mama, talk about his kids, uh, wear his clothes, uh, take all his money, steal his money. Um, <laughs> Show up at his job, um, cuss him out, uh, uh, get on Facebook and talk about him, get on social media and talk about him, um, all of that. And uh... <laughs> That's time. All right. all right. Which ones did Lonnie get? Lonnie got call his mother without the B. Mm -hmm. Update F book, update, <laughs> update Facebook relationship status, show up at his job. What you didn't get is act clingy. Move mm -hmm. your stuff into his house. Call yeah. him 20 times a day. Tell that him works. you love him. Ask for a guy on the first, ask for a key on the first date. They date. hate that. Stalk him. Yeah. Who does hate that? Hate on his friend. Mm -hmm. Who does Cheating that? wasn't in there? No. Oh, so anyway. Oh, Lonnie is, you know, they need me to do it. Okay, how I many I get? Lonnie, you accept the answers? Yes. You get 15 points, friend. That's it? <laughs> All right. Well, let's see how okay. the list does. Melissa, Melissa, you're gonna kill I'm this, ready. Melissa. Take I'm this ready. L, this Melissa. Melissa. I'm take it like a woman. Just gonna lunge it. West, lunge it. West Melissa's topic, lunge it. Tamara. Okay, things you should never ask a woman. Oh, oh. Wow. You got this, you got Come this. Come on, you got it. Are you pregnant? How much do you weigh? How old are you? Is that really your kid? Oh, are you married to your grandpa? Is that your husband? Uh, <laughs> what size pants do you wear? What size shoe do you wear? Ooh. How tall are you? How much money do you make? Whoa. Um, uh, is your hair naturally blonde? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, uh, I did age, I did weight, I did um, height, I did... Um, uh, uh, um, who's your favorite child? <laughs> um, why are you stealing from this store, ma'am? Um, uh, All right. The things that you did say oh my God. are, she is how old are you? Did you gain weight? Are you having a baby? <laughs> the things you missed are, how many people have you been with? Oh. Are you sure it's mine? Ooh. Yeah. Is that your mother talking? Ooh. Oh. That was deep. Is your sister hot? She oh. is. Are you on your period? <laughs> oh. oh. It's your business. What? Okay, are those real? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody would have paid for these. That's all I'm saying. And are you going to eat all that? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Do you accept these answers? Um, I will accept these answers. Okay. You'll accept your total is 20. 20. Whoa! Whoa! 